valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. This video tells us about the Southern Pacific AC-9 Yellowstones. Enjoy. Looking for something bigger, stronger, and faster, the American Locomotive Company added extra trailing wheels to carry the extra weight of a larger firebox, thus turning a 2882 locomotive into a 2884. When delivered, the Northern Pacific named this new largest in the country steam locomotive the Yellowstone, after the national park that the railroad served. The Northern Pacific then ordered another 11 Yellowstones, this time from locomotive builder Baldwin, but those 12 would be all the Northern Pacific would roster since they just didn't generate enough horsepower on the cheap coal that the Northern Pacific had hoped for. At this time, each railroad could custom order any wheel arrangements to any design, making every new order a custom job. So when other railroads ordered the 2884 wheel arrangement, they made changes that improved upon the Northern Pacific design. And the Southern Pacific Railroad was one of those railroads, and they used a base Yellowstone design. Through and the Southern Pacific was one of those railroads. They used a base Yellowstone design, though with a unique change, as but most were flipped around and operated as cab forwards. This gave crews more fresh air in many tunnels in the Sierra Mountain Range. So a 2884 essentially became a 4882, or a backwards Yellowstone. Or truthfully to some, no longer a Yellowstone at all, and that's highly debatable. As I consider the cab forwards every bit of a Yellowstone and just a reversed uh, design. However, since the entire Southern Pacific was not dotted with tunnels, it wasn't necessary for all of these locomotives to be cab forwards. Southern Pacific's Class AC-9 were true 2884 standard Yellowstone locomotives. The Lima Locomotive Works built 12 for the Southern Pacific in 1939. They were put to work on the Sunset Route in Arizona, New Mexico, and Texas. As powerful pullers, they mostly headed freight trains until scrapped in 1956. And right off the bat, there are two specific notes about the AC-9 class that most folks don't realize or don't remember. The first is that the AC-9s are actually coal burners, whereas most of the rest of the Southern Pacific steam locomotives were burning Bunker C fuel oil. The second was that all 12 AC-9s featured a Skyline casing and were the only semi-streamlined articulated locomotives ever produced. And also, as a third note, the AC-9s had a great area of 146 square feet rather than the 109 square feet found in their cab Ford siblings. Though originally built as coal burners, the 3800 series were converted to oil, and they also were moved to operate on the Modoc line with some connections to Donner Pass. So there just isn't a lot of information about the AC-9 uh, types of the Southern Pacific Railroad, because basically... Anything to do with Yellowstone is dominated by the cab forwards type. So the video is not going to be as long as my other ones usually are or as informative. So what I'm going to do here is just simply summarize everything that we've talked about in the one group here and then give you the specifications of the AC-9 class and then call it a video. So to summarize, once again, the AC-9 was one of two Southern Pacific Railroad's articulated steam locomotive classes that ran smoke box forward after 1920, and the other one was the MC-1 class 2882 types. Twelve of the AC-9 class locomotives were built by Lima in 1939 and was Southern Pacific's largest and heaviest steam locomotives. And that was partly a consequence of low-quality coal that these engines were designed to burn. The AC-9 class were partially streamlined, as we've discussed, and they were the only articulated steam locomotive to be so equipped, having Skyline casings inspired by Lyman's GS Series 484, such as the 4449 uh, Daylight locomotive, and they were equipped with coal tenders, un unlike the cab forwards. The wheel arrangement was a 2884, which was nicknamed, obviously, the Yellowstone. Between 1939 and 1953, all 12 AC-9 engines were in service between Tucumcari, New Mexico, El Paso, Texas, Tucson, Arizona, and were mainly pulled, uh, pulling freight trains and occasionally also passenger trains such as the Golden State Limited. 
Between May and August of 1950, all of them were converted to burn oil instead of coal, and in spring of 1953, 11 of them moved to the Southern Pacific's Modoc line between Sparks, Nevada and El Turas, California, where they worked in freight service from 1953 until retirement in early 1956. And none of the AC-9 uh, class were kept, and all of them were scrapped in 1956. So with that, the following specifications apply to the Southern Pacific 2884 Yellowstone, Class AC-9. All 12 units were built by the Lima Locomotive Works in 1939. The wheel arrangement, of course, was the 2884, and the nickname is Yellowstone. The main driver size was 63 and a half inches. The axle load is 66,400 pounds. The adhesive weight over the drivers was 522,200 pounds. The local mode of weight by itself was 677,200 pounds. The total weight of the locomotive with tender was 998,000 pounds. The fuel type was oil. Originally, they were all built with coal. The fuel capacity was 28 short tons. The water capacity was 22,100 U.S. gallons. The firebox grade area was 139 and a half square feet. The boiler pressure was 250 PSI. The total heating surface was 6,918 square feet. The cylinders were four simple articulated at 24 inches by 32 inches. They used Walsh's valves gear. The tractive effort was 123,364 pounds. And the railroad classification once again was AC-9, and all of them were scrapped by 1956. And with that, I'll wrap up the video, and I shall thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed the content today, please hit the like button. And also, if you've not subscribed, please do so. It has both features, the like and the subscribe buttons help my channel grow immensely. And don't forget about the super thanks uh, button next to the like button on the taskbar. If you want to contribute $20 or more, don't forget you get a custom video that takes priority over anything that I am doing at that time. And if you don't want to contribute to the channel in that way, you can also support us at Nickel Plate Limited on Etsy.com. And we thank you once again.